Hi, I'm Jackie Van Ruller, and in today's video, we're going to talk about getting you some help for dry skin. So if you've had dry skin for a while, you probably have used every type of moisturizer. You've done everything you can to get your skin to feel more hydrated and more moisturized, and you may feel like it's just not possible. But I'm going to show you a couple of tips that you can use to actually hydrate your skin from the inside out and help to bring your body into better balance so your skin has a natural um, ability to produce oil and to maintain hydration in your skin. As always, we're going to start with our gua sha techniques on our chest and our neck. And these things are really going to help to um, release those fascial adhesions. And what happens when your fascia gets stuck together is it doesn't hold on to moisture very well. So actually releasing some of those adhesions is going to allow that fascia to hold on to moisture. Your skin's going to look and feel more plump, and it's going to have a, more, a higher moisture content. So it just feels better in general. So we're going to start again always underneath the clavicle doing that nice support, that nice pulling there. And notice, if this, especially if this is your first time doing this, notice that after you do this four or five times, just feel your skin. And just feel your skin there and then feel the other side. You'll probably notice that it already feels like it's holding on to more moisture. And that's just when, when you work, break those adhesions apart, it really does just hold on to better moisture. Makes your skin more plump, it just feels better. And it's gonna look younger longer, which is the best part. Now we're just working above the clavicle here, again, supporting. When I say supporting, I'm just moving this finger along, getting a tiny bit of a stretch using the tool. And then going up the neck, And behind the neck. And going under the jawline. What you can really do to improve your um, moisture of your skin too is to really make sure that that lymph is moving well. When you're releasing those adhesions, it's really allowing the lymph to move, but if you're doing a couple of these nice downward motions, again, super, super, super light, that really encourages lymph movement by itself. As I'm doing this, I can feel myself swallowing, so I know that I'm getting some good movement going there. You can also come down here and just do really light pumping motions all the way down the side of the neck. When I'm doing these pumping motions, I'm literally barely even using the weight of my fingertips. The lighter the better because your lymph is very superficial. And then doing the other side. Going above the clavicle. This is really important because all of your lymph drains into this area here. So just keeping that nice and open and flowing is gonna be really helpful to improving your skin, giving you that natural glow, removing toxins under and between your skin cells. And up the neck. And just supporting as you're doing this. under the chin I just like to finish up by going in front of the neck here and just coming all the way up over the chin
Now, if you want to learn how to work the whole face and do the whole facelifting techniques, you can um, sign up for my Give Yourself a Facelift class. And that's going to go more in depth into each area of your face. But in these short videos, I obviously don't want to spend all my time doing that. So um, we'll just work on the neck for the most part. So now I'm going to put just a couple of drops of facial oil on my skin. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about products in dry skin because you oftentimes think that using the right product is going to help us to have, um, to have more moisturized skin and that really actually isn't the case. And a lot of times what happens is, is that when you have dry skin you think you need to use a more, a more moisturizing product, things like a balm or um, something that's more greasy and that actually is not good for your skin because what happens is that then your skin is naturally saying, oh, I've, it's got plenty of oil and I don't have to make any. And so you may end up finding that you have less oil, oil production when you're using a thicker um, product. And so you can actually get away with using very little product or almost no products if you're really massaging your face on a regular basis. I'm going to give you a quick tip that you can use for your whole face. And that's just to take your hands, kind of put them up by your chin, and you're just going to go all around your face like this using some friction. And you can do that about 30 times a day. That's really going to help to break up some of those fascial adhesions in your skin, give you a lift to it, and increase blood flow and um, lymphatic drainage as well. But we'll get into our facial reflexology routine here. I'm just going to pull this up on my computer so I can see it. And on here, we're going to start with these points right here on the side of our nose. This is point 61, and it helps to release endorphins. It helps to activate our lungs. Our lungs are so important in moisturizing our skin because it's what actually sends moisture throughout the body. It also opens up your nasal passageway so you're getting more oxygen into your lungs. So it really supports your lungs in that way. Next, we're gonna to come to our right-hand side and work directly under the nose and directly under the eye. This is a point for the liver. The liver determines where energy goes in your body. And so the liver, we want the liver to equally distribute energy to all the organs of our body. And in this case, we want it to be into our lungs. Right above, right next to the liver point is the gallbladder point, 41. And that is going to help with fat metabolism. So we definitely want that in oil production. And then we're going to go up a little above to point three, which is the lung point on the right hand side. We don't want to overactivate this point because this point is going to help with um, more oily skin. And we want to work more on the left hand side because the left hand side of the lungs is really going to increase the um, oil production or more moisturizing in our skin. So coming over to the left side, we're going to get point 39 here. This point has to do with the stomach. And when we think about energy that goes to the lungs, it starts in the stomach with it breaking down food. And then the next point, we're going to do point 37 for the spleen. The spleen actually takes those nutrients and that energy from the stomach and then uses, um, lifts that up to the lungs so that then the lungs have plenty of nutrients and energy. So we're at point three now for just moisturizing, hydrating the lungs, hydrating the skin and the entire body. Next, we're gonna do points 38 and 17, which are right in this area. If you're pregnant, we're just gonna avoid this whole upper lip. Um, but if you're not pregnant, you can just go ahead and work this whole area here. Point 38 helps to moisturize and lubricate your joints, your bowels and your skin. And then point 17 is an anti-inflammatory point that helps to decrease stress hormones. Stress hormones are active in our body. It can make our skin more dry. So these two points together are really great for decreasing inflammation. It's working in here and you're feeling if any of the points feel tender or zingy, you're just going to work them a little bit longer. So nice and slow. I'm probably even going a little too fast here, so slow it down. And just really feel those spots in your face. And the next thing we're doing is going to work the entire zones of the lungs on our face. 
And so that's gonna come down our nose, onto our cheeks, and even a little bit above our brows in here. And doing that is really just gonna to help to send energy and good love and vibes to um, our lungs. So we can start on our nose, which is gonna be kind of our airway. It's gonna represent our airway. And what we're gonna do is I'm on the right side now. I'm gonna move a little bit more quickly on the right side because as we talked about before, the right side is gonna be more about controlling oil production. Um, so it's gonna be more about helping to dry out oil production. Now doing this isn't gonna dry out your skin, but we don't wanna overdo the right side. We wanna really work on the left-hand side to increase moisturization. So I'm working around the eyes. I'm just gonna give a little support here. You're just doing this like you're coloring in, you know, like in a coloring book, like you're just gonna color in an entire area. But if you feel a spot that feels particularly stuck or zingy, like I'm feeling it here, I'm gonna work that a little bit longer. So on another point right here, so I'm just gonna to help to work that a little bit longer. You can come kind of up over the brows and get that top part of where the lungs are. And I'm feeling a little stuck point here, so I'm gonna hang out there for a little bit. I don't wanna work any of these areas longer than 20 seconds at a time. That 20 seconds is kind of the magic number. You don't have to do it that long, but just however long it feels good. And as I'm working over here on the left-hand side, and come on the nose. I'm gonna work the left-hand side just a little bit more thoroughly. And that's just because that's the side that's really gonna to help to moisturize and hydrate the skin. Working the lungs is really good, not just for dry skin, but for rashes. It's good to boost your immunity. It's good to increase um, vitality, confidence, Brighten your skin. I'm feeling a good point right here, so I'm just gonna hang out and work it a little bit. And it's okay if you don't know what each point is related to, just kind of feel it and just go, oh, then, yeah, I'm kind of stuck there, or that feels a little tender, or that feels a little zingy. I'm just gonna hang out in that area. You can come up over the brows, work that area in here. I like to just support my skin wherever I'm working. So I've been feeling some good spots right in here, so I'm just gonna stay there a little bit longer. Yeah, right there feels zingy. And you'll find that as you're doing this work longer and longer, you'll either A, start to feel those spots more, or you may find that a lot of the spots or the zingy spots or the lumps and bumps actually kind of fade away. And so then you're just able to feel the ones that are still there or that it pop up. So once you finish the whole lung zone, then what you're gonna do is just go back to the areas that, you, that are dry on your skin. So for me, I used to get a ton of dry skin like right in here. So now that I've been doing all this massage work for quite a while, I really don't get that anymore. And this area here can be related to the large intestine. And so it can have to do with having some dryness in your intestines. But any area that's dry, you can just work that a little bit more with your detector. So I'm gonna work this area, but if you're finding dryness, you know, wherever it is on your face, just go ahead and work in that area a little bit each day. That's just giving you clues as to where there are some, you're carrying some stress in your body or where you have some imbalances. I'm just gonna work this, and I just love working the chin anyway, because the chin really has to do with a lot with reducing tension, warming up your hands and feet. balancing out your bladder. So if you're finding you having to go to the bathroom a lot, you can really help that out by working your chin. And it also reduces feelings of fear and 
and tension in your body. And so now that you've worked all the dry areas of your face, you can just go and do some up and down motions around your ears. And that just helps to set that formula into your body. It helps to bring your body back into better regulation. Just up and down in front of the ears. All right, and then that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please pass this video on to somebody else who may have dry skin, might need some help with it, and wants to find natural ways to take care of that. And I hope that if you're in the 30 day challenge that you're enjoying it, please pass that along. And if you're watching this on YouTube, um, head on over to my 30 day challenge to get more information on how facial massage can help improve your health, your beauty, um, and especially your mood. All right, I will see you soon.